Hi friends! Welcome back to another Sims gameplay channel. I'm back today with the differences in the Family Tree Legacy Challenge. I post a random video every Monday at noon, so definitely like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the challenges and the things that I'm working on. The last time we were here, Elliot and Yusef are, are eating for two again. One of the goals for Elliot's generation is for her to have both a boy and a girl. So I wanted to keep that going. Also in the last session, I did get Yusuf a job as an angler or a fisherman. I still felt like that was underneath the category of living off the land. I'm having a little bit of an issue right now with Elliot, she's got to pee. She's starving. Let's do this first, honey. Oh my gosh, it's a, the house is a mess. Oh my goodness. So in today's session, I want to prep the house for the new baby. And I also want to obviously work on their goals for the generation and all of that put together. But mainly prepping for the baby and she may even have the baby in this session so I think that's where we're headed today I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up and I'll check in with you shortly with the baby on the way and knowing that I have to upgrade their house a little bit for it I'm bringing Yusuf over to the fancy pond over here in Oasis Springs to see if he can gather some fancy stuff and maybe earn some money. I tried this with another sim, but it does require a decent amount of skill. So he is at level 6. I'm hoping he can find some cool stuff in this little pond. Yusuf has done pretty well here. I am mounting some fish for him as part of his aspiration. So I'm doing that. He did get a cow plant. Oh, he's actually gotten two. I don't know if I'll plan on maybe one. I don't know. They're a little bit silly, which is always fun. So he's getting really tired. I'm going to send him home and I'll check in in a bit. BRB. While I had Yusuf fishing, it looks like Elliot went into her third trimester. So I'm going to sell some of the things that Yusuf just got and then upgrade the house. Well, as it turns out, I didn't need to spend hardly any money at all. In fact, I made a profit. So that worked out pretty well. And things are going great with Yusuf's milestones he just has a few more hours to do for fishing and Elliot just has to gather some more stuff from the bramble wood and create some more treats so I'm getting her to work on that get her clean up it's really yucky clean up in here put this stuff away I'll do it for you it's fine I hate when the plates end up on the shelves. I don't think that was a good plan, whoever decided that. I think I am going to plant the cowberry plant because she's got to plant one of everything, right? So, yeah. I got to get her planting. Wish I could keep track a bit, just a little bit better about what's in her garden. All right, I'm going to keep on going. And I'll check in with you in a little bit. Oh no, Elliot's gone into labor while she's foresting in the damn bramble wood. <laughs> Gonna head her to the hospital, I think. Yeah. Have baby at the hospital. Or she could look at the bright side. It's 
a baby girl, which is very nice, but they need to have a boy. And I don't know what to name her. I've been going with a little bit more androgynous names. I really like that for girls like Kyle, obviously. And so I was thinking about Logan for a girl. Logan Ayers. I think that's perfect. Oh, Logan. <gasps> Did she have twins? Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my goodness, and it's another girl. Crap. I mean, it's good. She's having babies. I'm trying to think about a name. Oh my goodness. I think I'll stick with the L names, so I think I'm going to do another kind of androgynous name. I'm going to go with Larson. Larson Ayers. I cannot believe that Yusuf and Elliot had twins and they're in a tiny house and I'm gonna have to figure out how to work that out which I think I can I think I'm just gonna have to get rid of some of the toddler things or move some things around oh my goodness <laughs> what have I gotten myself into before I get them going I have to figure out where the other baby go oh upstairs yeah I gotta I gotta work this out before I hit play and go back into twin land I wanted to just show what I did for the renovation I was able to fit both babies in I actually don't know if he's gonna be able to get to the baby I might have to turn that uh, so hopefully that works there. I did uh, make the bathroom a bit larger. I, I don't love it. I don't need it to be this big, I don't think, but that's what's happening. And I got rid of the back porch and kind of put this little mud room on, which just is really a place for the baby toys that I can no longer fit in the room. I did add one tile. I believe I was at 82 before. So it's 83. I'm not mad about that. I do want to try to keep it under 100 for as long as possible. So there you have it. Shoo, twins are tough, man. It's been a long time since I've had twin babies and a Todd. Oh my. <laughs> I still have a ways to go with generation one in the sense of she still needs to have a boy. She needs to master the garden skill, which I think she's getting pretty close to. She's at eight. And she needs to finish the nature aspiration, which she's on the third milestone. She's getting there for sure. I'm not really sure what's happening in the Bramblewood, but I'm having a hard time finding items over there. But we'll keep trying on that. And then the optional goals of her spouse catching every kind of fish he is moving right along there I actually I wanted to check to see how far he had gotten oh, there's our fish ah, we still have quite a ways to go on the fish but he is moving relatively quickly in the skill itself so he should have that mastered pretty quickly moving into generation two Kyle's birthday is coming up. Her birthday is tomorrow. So that's really exciting. Maybe even the next session I'll plan a party for her, maybe. I don't know. And uh, yeah, so again, moving right along. Things are getting a bit cramped here in this tiny home, but everybody seems to be happy and doing well. I'm going to end it here for today. Thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.